So there was no time to dwell on the spectacular comeback win over Crystal Palace as the Blues are now in the midst of a run of games every few days with the Champions League beginning next week. City know that the new season is well and truly up and running. The luxury of a full week's preparation between matches is now over. From now until the World Cup intervenes, City face 19 matches. And when you consider that in that period, there's a two-week international break at the end of September, it gives you an idea of what lies ahead for this wonderfully talented group of superstars. So another City corner. Another in-swinger from Ilkay Gundogan from City's left-hand side. He goes short, Foden's there in support of him. Foden clips it in, Haaland, 1-0. I had a hunch that his first touch might be decisive. It was, it was a near post run and he just flicked it beyond Henderson and City's relentless pursuit of the opening goal yields another Haaland strike. Another Haaland strike and this looks like one from the training ground. It's a short corner. Foden receives it. It looks as though he may have thought about going back uh, to, to go into one, but he, he puts it in. And one thing I've known about Haaland, when you talk about that first three to five yards, he is lightning. And that's what gets him to go. City, the way they play, they squeeze play, they get the center, center backs, they get pushed high. And if Addison is deep, then Addison's in the wrong position. He's not there to intercept that ball and, and, and clear it. And they've given it away. It was Henderson who gave it away. And Haaland on the edge and Foden! And Haaland makes it 2-0. It is bizarre, isn't it? I mentioned that Aguero scored two in his fifth match. I mentioned that the two of them are in tandem. Well, for Sergio Aguero, Reed, Erling Haaland, it's 2-0 City. Well, it's 2-0 City. I mean, Foden receives the ball. And Foden gets his head, he gets his eyes up and he's thinking, where do I place it? I think there's a challenge that actually dwarfs it towards or knocks it towards Haaland. Uh, or whether it's a pass, I'm not sure. I think it may have been a challenge. And it just, when you're in this sort of form, you, you he's in, this, they come to you this way. And the one thing I had, the thought I had about was, would he be rested on this game? Because as a striker having scored a hat-trick, you're wanting to come up against any team that probably ain't got that full rhythm. He's got himself two tonight, and I won bet against him getting a hat-trick. <laughs> Just the eight goals now for Erling Haaland. Just the eight. He's only in his fifth Premier League match. João Cancelo with the outside of the boot. Great ball. Foden heads it back, and Stones on the far, and Haaland, number three. They can't rule that one out for offside because the ball came backwards to Haaland and City lead by three goals to nil. And now Haaland has his second hat-trick in the space of four days. He is quite an extraordinary player. It doesn't matter where the ball goes. It like a magnet. It arrives in his possession and it's 3-0 City. Well, I don't even know how to describe this, the, the, the form this player's on because anything that's in and around the box he, he gets himself onto a John Stones does well to retrieve a ball from Foden back and, and as a centre forward he's looking and sniffing and that he's in the right position uh, to, to tap that in absolutely brilliant we always thought a true and true out and out goal scorer in the city team will get goals I said he would score a bag of goals. Well, he's already got a bag of goals. And it goes to Bernardo Silva, who stopped in his tracks, but still managed to find Foden. And Alvarez, brilliant from Alvarez on the edge of the D. Oh, he's hit the post. That would have been his first Premier League goal, and it was within a whisker of being it. And he just opened up the space himself and hit a wonderful low shot off the outside of the post. Well, this is, I mean, this shows you the, the quick feet, the ability, what he's got. He just shifts it and gets the shot off. Henderson, well, I think if it's another three inches the other, the other side of the post, Henderson doesn't get to it. Uh, again, this is City just being relentless. So there is Champions League games galore, and then in uh, the final week of the season, uh, mid-season, before they go off to the World Cup, City play Carabao Cup tie against Chelsea. So it really is just a phenomenal period 
and City have started it brilliantly and they've got the ball on the edge of the forest area and João Cancelo has hit a rasping shot into the roof of the net an absolutely sumptuous finish goodness me what a goal that was City were just toying with Forrest playing it from side to side then it reached João Cancelo on the edge of the D he took it inside and wrapped it into the roof of the net a brilliant brilliant goal well what can we say I mean just remind people this is this is our left back and again he's one of those players that can pop up on the edge of the box and has the quality to finish it like a number 10 he receives the ball and wow, he just puts his foot right through it. But he had, he has the quality as well. He has the quality and the technique uh, to to also disguise a little bit as though he's going far. And he just wow, the technique to to push it into that top corner. Lee Henderson with no chance. And and again, I go to my point. I'm looking at Forest. I'm trying to figure out have they gone to five four one, and the, they they. <laughs> They, they have, and I have to say, when the ball is pushed to the centre-backs, they, they have tried to squeeze out. And Alvarez is in, five. Just as Sean was saying that Forrest have just changed their formation, it doesn't matter. A ball is squeezed through by Mares onto Alvarez, and Alvarez gets his first Premier League goal for City, and the Blues lead by five goals to nil. Three for Haaland, one for João Cancelo, and one for Alvarez. Wow, I'm feeling as though my prediction, I should have run a bit, high, a bit higher. But this is City, they've just been relentless. Again, this time is Alvarez, he runs through. And, you know, he strikes it, it's underneath the keeper. It's, 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 it's a good strike. Again, he's asking a question of, of Nottingham Forest. He's running behind, it's Mahrez. I'm not sure if Mahrez passes it through or, or it gets knocked through. It's, sorry, it's Mahrez. It is take, it is Mahrez that sees the run and passes it through. And Alvarez is thinking, I just want one decent chance. He gets a decent chance and he puts it away. Then teams come here, you know, uh, are certainly teams that, that, that get promoted. They, they get a reality check. Oh, now Mahrez is onside. He's right through the middle. Six. No, he's missed it. I can't believe it. He can't believe it. Pep can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> I mean, it was such, he's controlled it beautifully. He's made a run through the middle. And it obviously, it, was, it, it, it wasn't, it may have been, may have been offside. His touch, as always, is, is absolutely brilliant. And now City are on the counter attack with De Bruyne. He's pacing forward. He's got Mares to his right hand side. Still De Bruyne on to Mares now. Mares on the edge of the penalty area. Went for the bending shot. And it comes to Alvarez. Number six. Two for Alvarez. A sweet, sweet finish with his left foot into the roof of the net. Nottingham Forest were foolish enough to try and get forward. They were caught out. Then De Bruyne crossed the halfway line at pace, laid it off to Mares. Mares drew it into the box it bounced up and a terrific hit on the volley by Alvarez his second goal of the night City lead 6-0 well when when De Bruyne picks it up is actually two City players against four eventually a four Mahrez has the shot it deflects it falls to Alvarez and Alvarez again typical Argentine got their work rate is up and in around the box at the final the final moments where it's needed it falls to him lucky, and he, he, he gets that goal because he's, his hunger, his desire to be in the box. And there's a, a minute or so to go, hoping they keep the clean sheet. Uh, the midfield, Rodri, first beat, plugging up holes and gaps and continuing the run before him. Holland Renaud's got the hat-trick. I really love the look of this Alvarez, the energy he brings, the excitement. Uh, it's been an absolute brilliant display, and we didn't see as much as of Bernardo tonight, but... But this is the greatness of this team. A first half hat trick for Erling Haaland, his second hat trick in successive Premier League home matches for the Blues. But that wasn't where the Blues ended because Cancelo scored a rasper in the early minutes of the second half and then two for Julian Alvarez, his first two goals in the Premier League, his first two goals at the Etihad and City have been absolutely magnificent. Another incredible display from the mighty Blues and they will end August in a fantastic position. Four wins and a draw, a 6-0 victory over Nottingham Forest and they were quite simply majestic.